Out over the state's new tourism slogan debacle and his first television interview since the story began to unfold last week. We're hearing from the head of the Rhode Island Commerce Department. The interview is all new tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russum joins us now with more details. We know cooler and warmer has been thrown out and the state's chief marketing officer has resigned. We are now hearing from her boss, Stephen Pryor, on what went wrong. Last week's short-lived life of cooler and warmer left unanswered questions of accountability with the state's four and a half million dollar tourism campaign. Who knew what and when? When was cooler and warmer decided and saying this is going to be it? I couldn't say with precision when it was selected. Stephen Pryor is the state's Commerce Secretary and leads Rhode Island Commerce Corporation, the team put in charge of bringing tourism to the state. So you don't remember when cooler and warmer was chosen? Are we talking weeks? Are we I, talking months before? I honestly can't unveiled? tell you. I can't tell you the exact timing of, of a Well, no, but not exact timing, but are we talking weeks or months before it was chosen? I, I, I'm not going to be able to say. Okay, so. Okay. What else do you have? Some are calling Rhode Island, Rhode Iceland. Four days after the rocky launch that made national headlines, Betsy Wall resigned as chief marketing officer. Her now former boss, Stephen Pryor, stayed. Did you ever consider resigning? No, I did not. Why not? Uh, I believe I have a responsibility to keep the governor's initiatives on track, including this one. The governor insisted from the very beginning that we engage in vigorous public engagement. Clearly, there wasn't enough prior to the announcement. Why, why it, wasn't there? Why wasn't there? Th that's something that we need to evaluate. We need to see what went wrong. Why wasn't it done? Stephen Pryor will be testifying tomorrow in front of the House Finance Committee, but tourism is not on the current agenda. I'm Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.